A new survey reveals one in five homeowners plan to put their home on the market this year. The survey, conducted by Coldwell Banker Real Estate, shows plenty of homeowners want to cash in while the market is hot. The discovery that their homes are worth more than they thought in the current market, as well as the continuation of work from home for many Americans, are top motivators for selling. Russia threatens to remove Twitter over government-prohibited content. Russian regulatory officials say they will block Twitter in one month unless the U.S. social media giant complies with the demand to remove banned content. Some of the posts reportedly refer to child pornography, illegal drugs, and child suicide. Twitter denies being used to promote the alleged illegal behavior. The so-called Dirty Dozen list is out. Strawberries remain in the top spot of fruits and vegetables containing high traces of pesticides. The annual report from the Environmental Working Group says spinach, kale, nectarines, apples, and grapes remain on the list. New additions include collard and mustard greens and bell and hot peppers. Officials in some spring break hotspots in Florida are handing out $25 gift cards to random beachgoers who wear masks and observe social distancing. Once they get the cards, they sign a pledge promising to continue the good COVID behavior. Many people say it's smart, while others doubt the money will make much of a difference. In Pinellas County, about 23,000 people have gotten one of the gift cards and signed the pledge. A two-hour wildlife special is heading to Fox. Malika the Lion Queen, which is narrated by 911 star Angela Bassett, will air April 4th. The documentary is based on the lionesses of a powerful pride in South Africa. There you go, five things to know before you go to bed.